Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 55. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, here we go. We are back. First recording session uh, for over three weeks now. Um, and I kid you not, I am down to like four videos. So I've got to get some content made. So, we're going to start off with Sparco 350 horsepower runoff. Uh, we've got these four championships to do in today's stream. Uh, but that should be for the next four videos. And we're starting off with Iberian International Circuit, Sakuba Circuit, Mazda Raceway, Road Atlanta, and then finishing off with Sebring. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Our first race back. We're taking the Audi S5 for this one as well. Um... Yeah, I really like the uh, Audi. I love the Audi cars, specifically from like 2000, and, like early, from like uh, 2005 up until about 2015. That's like a really good era of Audi, in my opinion. And this car is bloody quick. I've done my tuning right. But, to be fair, I am in a four-wheel drive car, so... I like boring-looking cars. <laughs> nah, I've always been a fan of Audis. Like that. It's not becoming, it's always been like that. The newer Audis are cool, don't get me wrong, but I think, obviously not all of the older Audis, some of them did look a bit, but like stuff like this, this Audi, has a lovely looking car, it's a nice looking car. I haven't listened to this playlist in like two weeks, so I don't get the taste of Audi at all, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's his personal opinion. Um, some people love Audi, some people hate it. Some people love BMW, some people hate it. But what everyone can agree on is the new BMWs look like shit. Except for the M8. That car's fucking stunning. That was a very sketchy corner there. Completely sketchy. Uh, I haven't, Hans. Uh, would you mind sending me them in DMs? We're curious to see what it looks like. Just the one thing you don't see a lot is video games. There's always these leaks and everything. But when it comes to car manufacturers, people very rarely leak him. Like, cars can actually stay under wraps for a long time. Not bad. All I ever wanted. This car just grips. 
I think I made a good choice of car, actually. Oh yeah, so for anyone who um, was listening, who's been watching the last few episodes on YouTube, um, or was here in the stream about three or four weeks ago, I, um, on my last stream, I pre-ordered a Steam Deck. I think I might have mentioned it on the final stream that I had put my order in. Um, I've ordered one. I've been going on about how cool it looks and how awesome the idea of the Steam Deck is. I want one, right? Well, um, I bought it a week ago now. <laughs> The pre-order time was literally like three and a bit weeks. It had been predicted September to December, uh, sorry, October to December. And based on the fact that, that it had said October to December for quite some time, I was sort of expected it to be late October, early November, maybe December. You know. Obviously, I knew they had been ramping up their production. But apparently they've really ramped it up because my order was ready last week. And I was like, what the fuck? This is supposed to be ready for like my Christmas as like a Christmas present. And it's ready now. Um, so yeah. And it should be at my house tomorrow. I haven't found individual shots, but I found a page with photos grouped in. That's perfectly fine as well. I'd still be able to see what the car looks like. But yeah, so I've got a Steam Deck coming. Tomorrow, hopefully. Actually, that's a good shout. I should probably check the uh, shipping. Because it might be tomorrow. It might be the day after. It might be on Friday. Fair enough. Well, remember, you can um, live translate with uh, Microsoft Edge and Chrome now, so. Pretty much whenever you load up a foreign website, you can just translate it on the fly. It's a really good idea, though. <laughs> Google Translate gets a lot of hate, but it does the job. They'll obviously be miswording, and if you go in with the impression that it should be perfect, you're going to be disappointed. But it's a very good, you know... It's like broken English, but we've learned to understand broken English for years. Uh, what are the engine specs of it, Hans? I didn't actually go reading, I just saw the photos. What are the engine specs? But yeah, I, th I think BMW has learned their lesson that we really don't like their extended grills. And they're making their cars look normal again. Three litre inline six. Ah. Fair enough. What's the uh, horsepower like? And the torque? The only thing I'm concerned about is because it's a modern day car that has all this techie stuff put into it. Um... I'm worried that the weight is going to be quite high. Yeah, so 547 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. Even 450, that's a lot of horsepower for a modern day car when cars are just getting heavier and heavier. Like, obviously, that's a normal number now. But really, I would much rather car makers make their cars somewhat lighter feeling. 
Mm. Well, you got to think, Koenigsegg's managed to squeeze 600 horsepower out of three cylinders, so... We're getting into that era where smaller engines are more capable than bigger engines. I mean, you think there are inline four engines out there in the modern day world, inline four engines that produce about 200 horsepower, and there are V8s from the 60s that, okay, yeah, produce like 250 horsepower, but they had absolutely zero performance. So, engines are just going to get more powerful. Oh, I've gone wide there. Bloody hell. Meow. Meow. Yeah. Toyota Corolla GR, 300 horses, three or four pistons. Yeah. I think it'd be a four cylinder. Toyota's doing leaps and bounds when it comes to uh, car technology. Honestly. Some of the tech that um, Toyota is putting in their cars. Mental. Absolutely mental. They're squeezing a lot of power out of them. Yeah. That was the uh, engine that I used as an example. Yeah, Koenigsegg. There's no antidote. Rushing through my whole existence, got me twisting, can't resist it. Something's flipping on my switches. Uh huh. Parts are a lot more durable. But what's really strange, right, is when you look at cars from, like, the 60s, 70s, 80s, they weren't built to last as much. And we're now in an era where cars are becoming a lot more durable, like, engines are lasting much longer, but we keep replacing them. Yeah. Plastic is a problem. Plastic is... Its durability is like... 20 years? Most things that are plastic that are like 20 years old start breaking. I mean, you think a lot of PS2s now are starting to wear and tear. PS1s, the... Games consoles, older games consoles were not built to last more than 20 years. And I think modern ones as well aren't built to last more than 20 years. No, 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 no. There's no antidote. I'm very excited for my Steam Deck to arrive, though, because that... I think by the time I'm on my next stream, my next Forza stream, I'll have it and I'll be able to rant and rave and... Not rant. I'll be raving. But I don't think I'd have any bugbears with it, because I'd be like, Ah, oh, it's so cool! Uh, 70s muscles meet with modern part durability. Yeah, I could do. But you got to remember, Hans, that American cars and American car manufacturers, even still today, do put all their focus on power. Like, it's like the American way. We got to put more horses in, in our cars and whatnot. It's a terrible redneck accent, I know, I, and I don't care. 
But, like, that's all that Americans think of. Like... Oh, yeah, here's a new car. How many horses does it got? Like, it's always their focus. And I think if America started focusing more on, like, handling and stuff like that, they might actually become a more serious competitor in... Because Europe and Japan are storming the world when it comes to actual cars. Anywhere other than the Americas. Because the Americas, even South America, focuses too much on power. It's just an American thing. Come on, come on. Not bad. Woohoo! Right, continue. We got 13 grand. We're up to car level 3. We got 30% discount on valves upgrades by Audi Motorsport. America, fuck yeah. Come to launch in the motherfucking day, yeah. Alright. Good start so far. We're off. We haven't stalled. That is considered a good start. Agreed. <laughs> Uh, do you remember the days when Formula 1 cars, because they didn't have an electric motor, there wasn't any way you could start the car? Unless you had a starter motor, like an external starter motor. So if you stalled the car on the start line, that was your race over. Yes, it's true. I can't imagine <sighs> how stressful it must be to be a Formula One driver nowadays. Or at all, to be honest. <laughs> I got another driving lesson on. V12. V12 was the era that I love. Like... Do you know, I really want them to bring back V10s. <laughs> yeah, so I've got... Because obviously my um, test was cancelled and delayed so my new test date is next Friday um, this Sunday I'm gonna do a lesson I hope maybe next Thursday or next Wednesday I might squeeze in the lesson um, but yeah My instructor's actually doing me a solid because we had an absolute massive mess up. Um, so he's doing one lesson for free. Uh, which is fair play to him. Yeah. Slow ride. Take it easy. What a tune.
Yeah, so I'll be back in a VW Golf. I'm going to have to uh, connect my phone, though, to the speakers and listen to some music. No, 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 no. Not bad. Perhaps being abducted, that's considered free drive as well. I mean, it is. <laughs> I, I don't think it's a good ride, though. It's a free ride. But it's not a good ride. <laughs> It's really surprising how easy it is to get back into this game. Like, it's been how long? Three weeks, and I'm able to just jump in and still play really well. When you compare it to something like WRC, it's taken me about three or four hours to get back into, like, full rhythm on WRC uh, 8, 9, 10. Who said good or bad? It's free ride. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It's free. It's 21 days and two hours from last playing. Uh, I think it's a little bit less than that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the exact number is, but yeah, it's it's been a while since we last played it. Come with me to the dance floor. I need to open a window. I'm sweating my tits off. Oh. I'm in the gravel. That's a new name for gravel. Gravel. I'm really surprised at how nimble this car is. Look how nice the interior is. That's how should I spell letter placing in my language? Letter placing? What do you mean by that? Not bad, saving ghosts. Please do not turn off your console. Woohoo! Twelve grand. Nice. <laughs> you and me, because that's what it's for. Learn German and go there. It's good pay, as I heard. Oh, fair enough. I think I've heard as well the minimum wage is about 10 euro 50, isn't it? 11 euros, something like that. I don't think I'll be able to leave the UK as much as I shit on it. And as much as I admit it is a shit place and it is a shit place. It's sort of like your home. It'd be tough to adjust to a new place. It's like with me, I've said multiple times, I'd love to go to somewhere like Australia. Stuff is quite a substantial amount cheaper there at the moment. Um, and the minimum wage is similar, if not a little bit more than the UK. But again, stuff is much cheaper, so that doesn't matter. The minimum wage could be lower than the UK and that would still be good. So. Yeah, the world is fucked. So one thing I find really bad, right? So obviously, 
um, a couple of days after I went on my break. Or it might have been a couple of days before I went on my break. I'm not sure. I think my last stream was when we found out that... Or the second to last stream was when we found out that Queen Elizabeth died. Oh my god, it's been nearly a month. Since she died. Jesus Christ. That funeral was sad. I'll be honest, that was... It was, was heart-wrenching, alright? <laughs> but no, um... What was it? Um, what was my original point? Oh yeah, I was mentioning something about Liz Truss. I don't like her. She seems sketchy. I know. It's such a weird thing to think about. Like, I'm not the only one in the UK that thought Queen Elizabeth was, like, immortal. We all thought she was immortal and that it would never happen. Like, she went to 96 years old before she died. Yeah. Like, I'm not the only person in the world that's thought that. And, like, most of us have thought... As much as we haven't paid much attention to Queen Elizabeth, she's always been there. You know, and for a large majority... I mean, she's been on... Was on the throne for 70 years. So when you think about it... Everybody that had been born before she died... For 70 years would have only known Elizabeth. So basically anyone under the age of 70 was an Elizabethan basically. Never known anyone else. I think that's why it hit a lot of Brits hard was because there were so many Brits that obviously had been part of that Elizabethan era. You know. Anyone below the age of 70 was an Elizabethan. But when Charles dies, I don't think it's going to be the same. Because even though he, f for some he might be a better than Elizabeth, he might be worse. Who knows? Give him some time to prove himself. But he won't have been in power long enough to have that emotional attachment to a lot of Brits. Not to the level that it was with Elizabeth. Like when Charles dies, I don't think much, I, I still only think he's got about five or 10 years in him. I don't see him doing any longer than that, so. William's in his 40s, though, so he'll probably get a good 20 years on the throne. This bad. I have my own throne as well. It's only ceramic though. <laughs> I got one too. It's had, it's gone through a lot though. <laughs> She was worldwide known for having stocks of totems of undying. <laughs> That's kind of funny. 
See, I get that reference. And that was a Minecraft reference. <laughs> Won't you be there? I'm king of the castle. I'm king of the castle. Do you know, I, so on holiday, obviously I've downloaded a lot of stuff on Prime. I watched Borat. <laughs> I kid you not. I was fucking pissing myself. Both Borat movies, actually. I will give my daughter as a gift. To King of America! <laughs> oh. Fuck's sake, that was so. There's some really bad parts in that Borat movie that I just. I don't even think YouTube would put that movie on its library. This is my home. Entry, please. This is my neighbor. He is a pain in my asshole. I get a chair. He gets a chair. I get an electric radio clock. He cannot afford. Great success. <laughs> oh, I love that. Won't you be there? <laughs> Honestly, Borat is fucking out of this world. <laughs> Borat is honestly one of those things that it's it's like Come Fly with Me. Have you heard of uh, Come Fly with Me, Hands? It's similar to that. It's like this dumb... The, the only difference is that Borat... Um, what was it? Borat is basically like... Um, a comedy thing. But it was done as like... In the public. So the public didn't know he was doing it. They just thought he was an absolute moron. But um... Yeah, it was, it was almost like a prank show. Come Fly With Me was just uh, two comedians being absolute knobs. <laughs> Honestly, it was killer. You can't really watch it anymore because Netflix pulled it because um, they were concerned about blackface in it. Basically, when um, BLM happened, about two years ago now. Um, in fact, no, it was two years ago. It's more than two years ago. When that happened, everyone was like... Oh no, we can't have blackface. It's racist. Which is completely against the point of racism. It's a stereotype, but it's not racism. Um, but because it was blackface, they had to get rid of it. Um, there was basically this character that they played called Precious. Who was a little old lady that worked in an airport. That had her own coffee shop. And obviously, she was a black woman. So, they obviously blackfaced and all that, because they were two white actors. And Precious, honestly, is one of the best characters out of the entire series. It's like, we got milk, we got coffee, we got sugar, we got loaf out milk, we got soya milk. But today, with the Lord and his almighty wisdom, said so today's the day we got no... Hot water! <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> so I've got no choice but to close up shop for today. <laughs> and they did that. It was the same thing. They were missing one thing, so she had to close up shop for the entire day. And it was brilliant. Shaolin, what up? Welcome. How are you today? Honestly, I'll, I'll try and find a compilation of it, but... But that's the thing, like... 
we have, as Brits have stereotypes. Oh, in it, bottle of the water. It's Tuesday. Cup of tea and crumpets. You know, we've got our own stereotypes in the UK. I don't go and start kicking a fuss because some American does the stereos. Actually, no. If an American did it, I would. <laughs> Actually, no, I wouldn't. Because I'd just then respond with, Ah, let's go to... <laughs> <I can't. laughs> no. I can't go with the typical British response. But you know what it is. If you know, you know. Ah, oh, shit. I've overdone it. <laughs> but yeah, um, like when it comes to stereotypes, and they're just funny. They're harmless at the end of the day. What do you mean, Shaolin? Mm. But yeah, like, uh, what do you magic? There's nothing wrong with stereotyping. If it's used in a comedic sense, that is. If it's used in a hateful way, then that's what racism is. <laughs> but like, stereotyping itself, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as it's done in a comedic and funny way. That's not ideal. Well, I hopefully you get everything sorted out. Checks on vacation. It's traditional to take sandals with socks and schnitzels in backpack. <laughs> oh. That sucks, shall we? Well, hopefully it all gets sorted out. There we go, I finally got light. Why can't you live in your own house? Ah, you ball bag. That's a bit odd. Oh no, my car! It's broken! No. Court order says you can't go back to your own house. That's not legal. Because that requires the owner of that property to file a court order against you, which either means if you're renting, the owner's got it in for you. Or if you own it, something's gone horribly wrong. It doesn't matter. 
You can't get kicked out of your own house. They would move him out and get him appropriate accommodation and then sort you out. Even if he lied about it or whatever. That doesn't seem right. You may want to get a lawyer. Yeah, you might want to get a lawyer about that. Because that's not even legal. And if it is, I ain't fucking moving to America then because it's fucking shithole. Well, to be fair, America is literally the worst place to live in the world anyways. The UK is a close second. <laughs> and there we go. That is that championship done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Peace <laughs> out.